uh, tens of people, civilians, have been injured. There are still sounds of life fire despite the white flag being raised. In May 2010, Israeli soldiers took control of six international aid ships headed to Gaza. Nine Turkish passengers were killed. We have seen pictures broadcast from on board which showed armed Israeli officers wearing masks. After taking control of the situation on board, the Israeli military went to battle online. 18-year-old Corporal Liri Aram is doing her obligatory military service in a unit which uses the internet as a tool. לגשר על הפער שהתקשורת יוצרת בין דובר צה"ל והיעדים והמסרים שלו לקהל היעד שלנו. במקרה שלי הקהל היעד הבינלאומי. The new media desk was created in 2009 and consists of 10 soldiers. מה שאנחנו עושים זה בעצם משתמשים בכלים של בלוג, יוטיוב, טוויטר, מה שיש לאינטרנט להציע. A few hours after the Israeli Navy commandos boarded the ships, Corporal Aram and other new media soldiers were busy distributing footage and audio recorded by military press. <laughs> Major Avital Leibovich, the head of the new media desk, claims the military press footage changed the media narrative because it proved that the Israeli commandos opened fire in self-defense. Uh, we gave uh, footage of what actually took place on board of the Mavi Marmara uh, from a few angles and uh, I, th I believe that the world all understood that we had uh, to deal in the situation with a group of extremists that had only one goal, to lynch IDF soldiers. Uh, one of the famous uh, footage uh, was the fact that our soldiers were beaten by metal rods, by bars, by broken bottles, and just the whole world saw. In the days following, the Israeli military's YouTube channel was very popular. Its footage was also leading news broadcasts worldwide. Richard Schneider, correspondent for German public television, used the footage with some doubts. We hear here that the Israeli army, the Israeli soldiers who were on board, were forced to defend themselves and therefore they shot and therefore they killed people. Now, I was not handed out any footage where I see an Israeli soldier shooting. So I have no clue under which circumstances the Israeli soldier on board, or several Israeli soldiers on board, were shooting. I don't know. Was all the footage that was shot released? Almost all of it. Uh, the footage that was not released had either some field security sensitivities, for example, um, uncovering uh, tactical methods that the forces used, or it didn't have any uh, value, uh, namely the, the, um, the quality of the footage was not sufficient. And where is the footage of people being shot, for example? I watched everything. There is not such footage as you're describing, and also everything that had good quality was, uh, was distributed. I mean, that's why we sent four filming crews. I don't trust anybody in the Middle East, uh, me, very clearly. Everybody here has an agenda. And uh, everybody is trying to sell to journalists, especially to international uh, journalists, their side of the story. But the new media desk is bypassing journalists like Schneider. There is a huge audience in the world that is not opening TV, that is not reading newspapers nor listening to radio. It's getting its entire information, everything that it needs, only from their own personal computer. We want to reach those audiences without the mediator of the editors and of the other uh, crews of the, of the media. 
The Israeli military's investment in online activity shows that in the Middle East, the Internet has become a critical battlefield.